Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. So, going off of yesterday's episode, you know, Hope falling into Thomas's arms and Liam coming in there and yelling and screaming and putting his hands on Thomas, which I was just like, bro, you walk up in Forrester's creation, you put your hands on the son of, of, of the man that actually owns that building and the granddad that actually owns that building. What the hell are you thinking? And not just that. He assumes that Thomas did the worst. Right? He assumes Thomas did the worst. So he yells. At, you know, he, he pulls up and says, like, oh, you, you okay? Like, uh, wait, what? <laughs> Bro. She was in his arms, and you're going to sit there and just take out all your anger on Thomas? Are you kidding me? So, he tells Thomas to leave, right? And, yeah, the old Thomas, like he said, would have been like, No, nah, I'm good. My name is on the building. I'm not going nowhere. And part of me wanted him to not go anywhere just because, bro, who the hell do you think you are walking in there like you own, like you own stuff? But he did the right thing as far as for hope. Because he could have stayed there. And I think a lot of people would have supported that. But he left because he was like, you know what? I'm not going to sit there and make it more difficult for her. So he leaves. And, you know, Hope explains the situation. Like, hey, you know, I was in high rise. I fell. He caught me. He broke my fall. And that was it. Because he's all like, how much more does someone I'm supposed to take? Bro. And when she brought up the fact that, you know, as far as trust and stuff like that, how you broke her trust, you kept going back and forth between Hope and Steffi, but you want to barge in there like a caveman and start demanding stuff and start telling her what she can and can't do. Oh, well, I don't think that, um, you know, Thomas is the only designer and stuff like that. You can get somebody else and Steffi just loves her brother. And I'm like, bro. You don't even know that that's that's not the case. That's not that's not even the case. Um, and yes, on some level, could she have found a new designer? Maybe. But that's the thing about people sometimes. Um, or as far as I'm concerned. Sometimes if you like something and somebody else comes in and changes it a little bit, you're just like, nah, I'm good. Now, if you got a boatload of people that's that's doing that, and you got Zende, you got Eric, and God knows whoever else that may not that may not make the line what people are normally used to seeing, that's gonna wind up happening. So this whole, oh well, there's other designers and stuff like that, yeah. And there's a chance you can get someone, someone that's good, and there's a chance that you can get someone that's terrible. But how, you know, how many times you're just going to sit there and work and find other people that can be as good as Thomas or better than him? Um, like, how much money is the company going to lose? Or is willing to lose on that just to keep Liam's fragile ego safe? So she gets so sad and she's like, you came in here and you assumed the worst. You assumed that I was so stupid and so naive that I couldn't sit there and keep my hands off of him. You know, that level of trust. That level of trust, and I said that before, if you don't have trust, you don't have anything. And the fact that she got to sit there and work so hard and do all sorts of stuff like that just to make sure that he trusts her, not giving her the benefit of the doubt, given his history is just offensive to her. And like I said before in my in my video and in my live stream, Liam is gonna want to push in hope right into Thomas's arms. Now after that she sits there and I, I didn't know it was a dream, but Thomas comes in there to check on her and it's like you know, I just want to come in and say how you're doing. He talks about the line and the reviews and stuff like that. And I was like, the reviews coming that fast? Like, they literally just started working together not that long ago. 
where it's like, you know, the, re the reviews are great, and, um, you know, I couldn't do this without you and stuff like that, and they start complimenting each other and stuff. Next thing you know, Hope is leaning in to kiss Thomas, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, what? And of course, you, you know, it's just a danger. And then that's, that's where I start to laugh. You know, the music, she's all like, what's, what's going on? And, you know, she looks at the picture with her and her mom. And it's just like, oh, like mother, like daughter. And, you know, I guess she got the jeans for the bad boy or whatever. And I'm just looking at this like, this is just so... It, it was it was over the top. It was funny. But there's so much more to it, though. You know? Yeah, it's possible that, like her mother, she has a thing for the bad boys. That, that, could, be, that could be a large part of it. Also... Thomas, I mean, um, Liam, act like a jackass. So after Liam said what he said, and Liam was like, oh, maybe we could just go home. In the middle of the daytime? Like, you do realize that she's working right now, right? I don't know what's going on in your little Looney Tube brain, but people can't just, it's like, oh, just going to take off for the rest of the day and just be with my husband. No, that's not how that works. So she's like, I got things to do. With him? Was you not paying attention to anything that she just said? And he walks off and she starts to chase after it. I was like, no, 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 Do not ever, 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 under any circumstance, be chasing after some man. That is absolutely insane. You do not do that. No. No, I, at that point, I was like, no, nah, I'm going to have to put my foot down on that scene. Um, and, of course, she went back, and she started walking all sad. I'm like, you know what? I'll to tell you the truth. Liam can kick rocks. He can kick rocks as far as that situation is concerned. I like Liam. I do. But you don't barge up in there like you own like you own stuff and start telling people what to do at their own job. Because I'm like, bro, next time... He starts acting like that. I, I literally want Thomas to whoop his ass. You know, he went back to his mom and his family and stuff like that, told them the situation, and they backed. And it was like, you know, listen, we support you. We know that you're changing. You're making changes. You're trying and stuff like that. And even Taylor was like, yo, listen, you got to, you know, like just, I don't exactly remember what she said. It, it was, <sighs> to some extent, I, I feel like Taylor is, pretty blind, blinded when it comes towards Thomas, you know, but my, oh yeah, well, Hope had us sit and take him back, because she understood that, you know, the line meant a lot to her, and this, that, and the third, and I'm like, Taylor, you're the same person that, that treated Thomas at one point, and thought that he was totally fine, so to be honest, when it comes towards your opinion on Thomas, shh, because it doesn't mean a damn thing. It really doesn't. I think that's about it. Now, for the most other, you know, for, for the rest of the episode, like, that was the big stuff, which was Hope, Liam, and Thomas. But, you know, you just have Ridge and Begin and Smith to talk about how, well, you have Steffi and Taylor being proud of Ridge for taking care of Sheila. And, um... They also do, like, one big group hug or whatever just to sit there and let Thomas know that they support him. And, um... You know, Ridge is like, listen, me and Thomas, we got a, a long way to go. But, at the very least, they're off to a good start. Now, I've said this yesterday in my live stream, and I said this, I think, in a video, but just in general, when it comes towards Thomas, I understand both sides of the fence. I understand that some people are just, they're just done with Thomas. And they're looking at the situation like, how do you just keep sitting there taking this guy back? The guy says that he's good, he's fine for a little bit, and then he starts going back to his old ways, he gets caught, he apologizes, and it's just rinse and recycle, Right? So I understand why some people are just like, yo, he's never going to change, and Thomas is always shady, yada, yada, yada. But see, that's, a, you know, that's the flip side of it. 
because that's just how people are. People, I mean, for the most part, yeah, most people don't just keep doing the same thing over and over again, but that's just not how humans work, you know? So I, I, I see it in that way too. Like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, people mess up, but they do try to do their best and, you know, I mean, people mess up. That's just the bottom line. Um, so I, I get that also. And I understand why people are just like, yo, listen, he, he made some wrong decisions. He's trying to do better. And let's just give him a chance. But I guess it just comes back to the how many times can you sit there and keep giving this person a chance before it's just like enough is enough. Now, I think what some of the Thomas fans are just upset about is that you know, people want this character to be redeemed. People want this guy to actually have a good storyline. And every time they every time they give him one, they find a way to sit there and derail it. Over and over and over again, time at the time at the time. And it's just like, why do you guys sit there and screw with my boy Thomas like that? Over and over and over again. Just to prop up other people. Just to, I don't know, really crap on the character. So I, I, I'm... I, I get I get different people's point of views when it comes to us Thomas. And I think ultimately I think that's what makes him so much of an interesting character. You know? Because you do have all these different sides of how we're looking at Thomas and his ups and his downs and stuff like that. And yeah, I, I mean Thomas, you know, it's like for me, I'm like I'm not a huge fan of Thomas, but I don't dislike him either. So I don't really have a, a, a you know, skin in the game when it comes to Thomas, but I can understand the whole why do you kind of why do you kind of why you got to constantly keep knocking down his redemption storyline. You know, just every time he starts to go up, you know, as far as the story is concerned. Anyway, I feel like that's pretty much about it. I can't really think of anything else that happened. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go. If I did miss anything, come to the live stream. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, Monday through Friday. Um, Saturdays and Sundays for members. If you're not a member, hit the join button. We have a lot of fun. Um, I haven't really promoted that in a while. Also, when I do get to 100 um, members, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So we'll stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.